Incoming message. back with Dungeon Saga and these are the two minis I was well one of those these two minis I was going to paint in this video and it was this one Francesco the Devil Salvaggio however I've noticed in this that there's a bit of a gap there and a bit of a divot in his coat here so what I'm going to do with this is Right, so take that out and I'm just going to push those up for a second because I don't want to get any of this stuff on it. Plastic putty, something I've when we just started using. I haven't found out about this until recently. Um, I'm going to add a little bit here and here. I'm going to give it a little time to dry up a bit you can see we've put it on the shoulder there where there was the gap and there where there was that divot out of it so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes as you may know in the last video I painted Kirby we had a slight accident with Kirby <laughs> a little bit later on I went to do something um, I cannot for the life of me remember what I was going to do but I picked it up and I must have pressed a little bit too hard and it snapped literally snapped off the um, thing so what I've done is I've cut this off completely I have actually ordered um, a stand I'm going to have to just touch that up hold me a second right on top so I'm just going to whiz over with a little bit of the administration grey it's not going to be too much of it I'm not going to take up too much time in this video painting any more of this um, I'm just going to paint where I managed to catch it and scratch it with the so that I used to try and cut it off Oh, there we are. So that's that. Um, when the Uji comes, when the glass rod that I've ordered, not glass, the Perspex rod that I've ordered, turns up, I can, um, I can show you what I'm going to do with it. Right, I'm back. Let's just move that once more. So I've got my cotton wool bud. I'm going to dip it, you see, to a little bit of water. Get the majority off. I don't want it completely sodden, I just want it slightly damp. And then I'm just going to run it over here to clean off any excess. And then once that's done. We can come back and paint over this um, but I don't want to do it now I want to give it time to actually um, what I'm looking for. I want to give it time to uh, dry properly before I start painting so we're doing wrath this time um, so you can see what kind of character he is but I'm not painting him those colors similar but not exactly the same so one thing I can't use now is um, the Stormhost Silver because the Stormhost Silver I have has dried up completely I actually don't have the top off again 
after painting Kirby yesterday. So unfortunately, um, that particular ship has sailed. So we're going to start off with Hydra Turquoise. Now I have some um, Army Painter paints on order. Um, I'm just waiting for them to arrive. So I'll get my not too big, not too small brush. Get into this colour. And I'm going to paint everywhere that isn't um, the cape with this. I'm going to use this as a base colour to hopefully help me to see um, any details that's here because I'm not quite certain as to what I'm painting exactly. Program activated. Okay, we're getting quite close now to um, completing this stage of the operation. Um, I think that is actually, it's not quite a missed fingers here. I think I have gone over the cape somewhere along the line, but never mind. Right, so that's that stage done. Next, what we need to do after cleaning brush is <coughs> looking at the details that we need to pick out. We're looking at um, what can we look at? I know what we can do. We're going to go into Citadel now and full great copper. Hope you can see that. I'm just giving this a damned good shake because it's one of those where the, the medium for it and the um, what you call it the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? pigment separates quite easily. I don't need that much. So I'll scrape some back into the pot. This is quite a watery paint. But 
Never mind. Okay, so take some of this and we'll add it onto this area here. that area. Also add it to the edges of some of the armor. Program activated. So I think at the moment that is it. In fact, no. Two more little bits I'm going to do, and that's the back of the hands. There we are. Um, I'm also going to do. I'm going to do the opposite colours of how it shows on the picture. So on the picture it shows that it's that one and that one that is gold. Or gold and coloured. And I'm going to do it slightly different because I'm awkward. <laughs> See it here very well, anyway. So, I'm just going to do that little bit there. there. Okay, that will do, I think, so far for the copper pour. So we'll wash the brush out, and okay, I'm back into the um, what's it called turquoise colour and we need to just cover up a couple of areas and paint an area a mist To be honest, there's not all that much of an area that needs to be tightened, uh, tidied up. Um, now we can get it properly. I thought I'd done worse than I, had, I actually have done. So, thankfully, I 
can get away with what I have done. Um, but I've just noticed a little bit that I will do this colour and that's this bit on top here. That's it. And it comes straight down the back as well. There we are. And I'll also do this part of the sword. I'm not going to do the blade of the sword because I prefer to do that in a different colour altogether. In fact, I regret let's do all the sword. I've just changed my mind on how I'm going to do this. I'm not doing this the way I normally would do a sword, which is like a goldy, coppery colour um, handle. Um, I'm not using the right terminology, I know that, but you know what I mean. Um, I'll do it all gold and I can tidy it up later and do it slightly differently when I get round to highlighting. Next, I think we'll get the cape sorted out. Oops. And for that, I want to use a little bit of Wans Dacker Red. And into that, just a wee drop of when I can find the flaming thing. There we are. Doing bull brown. So I'll get the red on here first of all. There's the red. And I'll give that a bit of a wash. Go and make sure that as you're putting your brushes on your palette that they're remotely clean because you don't want to be mixing colours in the pot itself, do you? I'll do that. Let's see how that looks when we've mixed a bit of that together. Um, and this is... Um, isn't it going to be an interesting colour? So the Wasdaka Red. And into that, so they're doing bull brown. I want to make a nice brick red colour. I've got a little fly buzzing around me. It's annoying the life out of me. I don't want them little fruit flies. So into that as well, I'm going to put some of the turquoise just to grey it down a bit. With it being a bluey colour and grey down quite nicely. Let's add a bit more to that. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Nice. Just what I was looking for. And we'll get that on the go. Oh, yeah. Oops. I forgot there's another little weapon, like a, a dagger or something. Okay, and I should have painted that with the copper bill with me. I'll do that now. Oh, yeah. That will do.
there it is nice I'm gonna make this a bit more redder when it comes down to highlighting later on so don't worry it's not going to be staying this dark but we do want it dark for this stage of the process trying to get any bit of cloth and I can see him paint it this colour um, and I'm seeing really weird details in this and I'm not sure what it's all it's like that bit there Anything that I don't know what it is, I'm just going to paint it black. I've decided it's going to be much easier. <laughs> There's a rule for you. You can choose to follow it or not, as the case may be. But if you don't know what something is on a mini, paint it black. If you then find out what it is, you can always paint over it, that doesn't matter. But, just as a rule of thumb, while you're painting, just so you can disguise it and make it anything you wish it to be, paint it black, can't go wrong. <laughs> there we are. So we just keep going with this. And I said all over areas where there's the cloth. And I may have to go and get a narrow, in fact, I'll have to get a, a smaller brush in a second because. This is going to be too big in a moment for getting into areas. Just a case of tidying up, trying to make sure you've got every word that is cloth. And so, if you get it dark enough, you're going to go over any of the areas of cloth that you've already pre painted with the um, turquoise. So No big deal about if you catch it early enough. But one thing you don't want to do, I'm just going to wash this brush out and get a smaller brush because the area I want to do now, I'm going to struggle to get in with this one. Okay. And let's do here. best not to get any of this onto the turquoise it's bound to happen well it is when I'm painting anyway I'm bound to get it on the wrong part but I'm just trying my best to go as slow and as steady as I possibly can and I hope that I can avoid it happening Oh, 
Oh, I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath as I'm painting. So the breathing's not going to knock me off my concentration. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's... You've not got a steady hand when you're trying to do things like this. It's... Pain in the neck. You're trying to do everything you can to keep from messing it up. Anyway, there we are, that's that one. Next job. As I said, black. Um, we're painting things black that we don't know exactly what they are. And that is when I can find the black. The black is out, no I haven't. And there it is. I couldn't see it at first. Abaddon black is the one we're using. And it's the one we're using because it's the only one I've got. <laughs> so we'll pop that bit on the palette. We don't need a great deal. So we'll just do that and then clean our brush. Then get our small brush that we've just used for the details in the... Um, cloth areas. Anything we haven't painted already can get a coating of this. We don't know what these things are. We don't care what these things are at the moment. All we're trying to do is just cover up some details I think that is the scabbard for the sword. So I will paint that black anyway because I like the idea of that being black. This I think will be the scabbard for the dagger that's there. So we'll give them black scabbards. That's not too outlandish an idea. And we will come along and add a little bit more colour to that. It's this here that I'm not sure what it is. Oh yeah, that's the bit that's confusing me. I really don't know what that is. I don't know whether it's a gun, a weapon of some sort, or just a piece of equipment. Or what it may be. Out of the way, it's getting painted black. I'm going to go over this as well. There we go. Almost done. There we are, that's that done for the base coat. Next step will be to prep normally. Highlighting. But what I'm going to do first of all is, sorry, not highlighting, a wash. But instead of a wash, I'm going to glaze it. If I can find the glaze I've got. I only have one glaze paint. And if I can find it. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, this is it. Gwillem and glue. Uh, gl <laughs> Gwillem and blue, not glue. I'm just going to give it a, a shake. I don't use this very often, but I thought for this it might be an idea. In fact, I'll give that a bit of a wetting because it's 
I just realised I um, I still have some of the um, brush cleaner on it, so it's a bit stiff. Oops, caught the camera there. Right, so, so I'm just going to give this a glaze over. Um, I just want to give it a rather interesting colour. Hopefully, what I want to do works because I don't have a very pale blue wash. I've got a pale green wash, but this is the nearest thing I've got to a pale blue wash. Um, so that's why I'm doing this in this colour, but again. This isn't acting as a wash anyway because it's not building up in the uh, recesses, which is actually tinting all of it. But we will be coming back and oops, I don't even know if Games Workshop still. Do this range of um, glazes. I bought this years ago. Also, I'm not sure whether they still do them. But Hopefully, as I say, it does what I want it to do and tints the blue, which is the turquoise areas, the colour I want them. Keep this. Um, I've got to give this time to dry now. So once it's dried, I'll come back and continue with doing what we're doing. Um, that can take a while in real time, but for you, it's just a matter of seconds, or possibly the next video, depending on how long. This has lasted in editing because until my edits, I don't know how long these videos are. <laughs> so, I'll be back when this dries.